All right, I had the chance to jump the new Sabre 3 Canopy from Performance Designs this weekend at the Drop Zone. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my man Carl, the PD rep, who hooked it up, uh, was super knowledgeable and super helpful. And uh, just as a disclaimer, I don't know a damn thing about high performance canopies, so if you do, this review is not for you. This is my exceptionally average review of the Performance Designs Sabre 3. Let's hit the Drop Zone and jump. That is a great canopy. That thing is fun. Holy shit. Now I haven't jumped a whole lot of different canopies. I've jumped a Pulse, a Spectre, a Storm, Sabre 2, Triathlon, and a Navigator, the Student Navigator, of course. So I haven't really jumped anything other than sort of those mid-range canopies. But take it from me, this is the canopy that I want in my D-bag as soon as I can afford it. I think they're gonna sell a ton of these canopies. All right, the first thing that Carl told me to notice was that the opening sequence is going to be a little bit quicker than a Sabre 2, but it's not going to be hunting on opening. So th those of you who jumped to Sabre 2, you know, uh, oftentimes you get these little incel closures on the end, and that's to slow it open. It slowly opens. But also, during the snivel, the canopy is kind of just going this way and that. You can kind of steer with the risers and it's kind of like a gamble. You're like, am I going to get a left 90? Am I going to get a right 180? The Sabre 3 fixes that entirely. The slider, first of all, it snaps to the canopy. Um, I'd never seen this before. Uh, Carl told me they do have that on more high performance canopies, but since I don't know anything about high performance canopies, I've never seen that before. I don't know how to describe how this thing flies. It's super intuitive. Um, the first thing that I noticed was just light toggle input, even down to my shoulder, you know, to here. It, a wide range of motion, and the canopy is just real docile. It was just moving real nice and slow, and just kind of waiting, like, hanging out, waiting for you. You've got this wide range up here where it can be super docile, and then, man, if you stab it, it is just going. It takes off. It feels like a high-performance canopy that anyone can fly, even an idiot like me. One of the things that I noticed was the extra ribs on the tail section, which I don't know exactly what that does, but it seems to me like it made it a bit more controllable, especially with the rears. Oh, there's so much in the rears. Wow. My canopy, when I get on the rears, it feels like I'm battling to get back to the landing area. I grabbed the rear, t the rear uh, risers on this thing and just, just eased, I just leaned back a little bit, okay? Bam, it just trimmed out. It was so easy to trim out like that. You, like, you could comfortably get back from a long spot without feeling like you've been doing a pull up for five minutes the whole time. And I couldn't get it to stall, okay? I pulled the toggles all the way down and that thing, it just like was just sinking. Probably have to take a wrap to get it to stall, but I kind of like that. I don't, I don't want my, f my flare to have to be you know, only here, whatever. It feels like you get the full length of the flare without having to worry about a stall, which is great, again, for jumpers like me who don't wanna to have to worry about that thing. What else? Front riser pressure seemed pretty intense for me. Um, you know, I just, I just grabbed one, it did a turn, and uh, it, it seemed a little bit intense, but then I was pretty lightly loaded too, so the thing's gonna stay pretty well inflated great thing about landing this canopy is like, I don't swoop, it makes me feel like I can swoop, okay? So, it's got a great two-stage flare, 
and I was coming in, okay, it's a hot day, it was like 90 degrees, uh, almost no wind, so we're gonna be coming in a little bit hot. So man, I came in and I pumped that flare to where I normally do on the Saber 2, and it just planed out. And I just rode it across the ground for a little while and finished it out, bam, just plopped right on my two feet. It was a blast. I only got two jumps in, so maybe this isn't like the best review out there, but I gotta say, I instantly fell in love with this canopy. The only thing that I don't like about it is that I had to give it back at the end of the day, and I don't have a brand new canopy in my budget right now, but I'm telling you, I'm gonna start saving up for one of these because I love that canopy. It is a blast to fly. Bravo, Performance Designs. You guys made a wicked fun canopy, and uh, I can't wait to put one in my D-bag, I'm telling you. I'm putting it on my Christmas list, you guys, and I think, uh, look, if you're interested, if you've ever run a, if you got a Saber 2, sign up for the demo. The list is gonna be crazy long right now, but you should definitely sign up for a demo. Jump this canopy. Um, if you're currently jumping a Sabre 2 and you jump to the Sabre 3, it's going to be like a ah, It's going to be like a come to Jesus moment, okay? It's so amazing to fly versus the Sabre 2. Uh, it feels like a whole different canopy. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks again Carl and Performance Designs for coming out to Skydive Sebastian. Letting me jump your brand new crispy canopy and uh, I appreciate it. Uh, definitely will recommend this to all my friends. To all of you viewers out there, try it out.